So when we left off last episode, we had done some big things. We signed some good players. We signed Danny Omo to the squad, and he didn't get to start, but he is going to be getting a start here against Inter Milan. It's the quarterfinals, the Derby della Madonnina in the Coppa Italia, and this is pretty much what I'm going to be going with as a lineup. Uh, as you can see, Paqueta playing on the right, but Bonaventura and Paqueta are right attacking midfielders and left attacking midfielders. Olmo uh, can either play as a left midfielder, attacking midfielder, and a right midfielder can play anywhere up there. Very versatile, but his main position seems to be as an attacking midfielder. Uh, let's see if eight minute halves can actually yield us a lot more highlights, a lot more action in this game. It's Inter, it's always a massive match, and I expect nothing different here. Now we're still in the transfer window. Uh, you guys know how I like to do career modes, I always try to keep them realistic. Olmo, he he, you know, probably could be linked or probably isn't linked, but he looks like a good player that suits our needs. We needed a playmaker at this club, and that's what I went and get. So we've got ourselves a few playmakers to help up Zlatan or whatever striker up top. There he is lining up amongst the squad, and I'm very excited by his arrival. I like his stats. He always has room to grow. It's a foggy day here or night. At the San Siro, Inter being the home side, but it doesn't matter. I don't care who's the home side. I want to get into the semifinals, and what a way we could get into the semifinals by beating our rivals. And it says, I think in the top left, a cold res okay, a cold reception. That's probably talking about how Ibra used to play for Inter. So it's cool that they actually take that into account. He played for them so long ago, but the game still remembers. Oh, great save by Gigio Donnarumma. We're just giving the ball to them. Inter been all over us in this match. Gonna flick it to Ibra. Olmo, Bonaventura, keep making a run. Keep making a run. Nicely done by Olmo to find Bonaventura. He's got options here. Jack, can we send in a cross? That's to the back post. Olmo's gonna try to... Ah, some great build-up play. Good work between Olmo and Bonaventura, but... Nobody was there on the receiving end of that ball. Lukaku, I don't like when they attack Inter. Very, very dangerous. Good play between the two defenders. Krunic. And I said, Olmo. Somebody's got to show him something. It's going to be a good run by Krunic. Maybe going to try to take a shot. He doesn't have much here. Olmo to Ibra. Ibra maybe going for a shot. Gets taken down just outside the box. And we're going to have ourselves a free kick. We scored last episode from a free kick, and I wanted to take that all day. Skriniar is going to go into the books, taking down Ibra. And maybe Ibra can stand over this, even though Bonaventura did score last time. Maybe Zlatan, with a little bit more power, he can score this one. He can bend these in. Why not try with Ibra? Ibra is going to try to put it into the top left corner. Can Ibra score this? Ibra just over the wall, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That's going to be a goal for big Zlatan. And it's 1-0. Bonaventura scored one last time. I said, why not try with Ibra? And he's going to put that one over the wall. Perfectly placed. I don't know why they use this camera for a replay. It's long for absolutely nothing. I just want to see a beauty of a goal by Zlatan. Handanovic, absolutely no chance on that one. 38 years old, still banging in the goals. First goal for him in the Coppa Italia. Second goal for him on his return to Milan. 1-0. Barella, Romagnoli going sliding in. That's going to be the end of the first half. Good block by Benacer. Krunic, Olmo, try to find Zlatan. He's going to take it around Zlatan. Shot straight into Andanovic. Vecino. Don't get caught here, boys. We've done so well. No, no, no. That's... I was about to say we've done so well to take the lead. And then just one mistake. Somebody moves out of the way. And Luftaro Martinez is going to be scoring. It's 1-1. One, one. No. Not like this. Brozovic is cutting back. Conti. No. Refer I didn't even make a challenge. He just smashed into him. And Inter with an opportunity here to maybe steal this one. Kandreva with the little chip in. That's to the back post. Hernandez doesn't really make a difference. Look like we're going into extra time in this quarterfinal. Come on, guys. We can't have these holes in our defense here. Alexis, get him off the ball. He takes the shot, Gijo with the save. Doesn't look like they're gonna have time to go up. That's gonna be the end of extra time. It's going into penalties. I tried to maybe get on Piontek, 
for this penalty shootout but we're gonna keep the players how they are and eight minute halves there has there's been a lot more highlights a lot more shots on target i think i might start playing on eight minute halves looking like you know what let's swap kessie and ben said at least we have a better free, uh, penalty taker as our third shooter and the rest we're gonna keep it like this it looks uh, the derby is gonna be decided by a penalty shootout i think he's going left he skies that one kandreva ibrahimovic to score himself the second goal of this match ibra places that one into the top right corner handanovic diving the wrong way Alexis Sanchez, bottom, he goes top right, in off the post. Ben said, let's try to go low. Andanovic is right, and he scores that one. Ben said, very nicely placed penalty. Lutaro, let's go left, Gijo, big save. Kessie can put these in. Let's try down the middle. Let's try down the middle with a lot of power. Kessie hits it, Andanovic rooted to the spot. First save for him. Brozovic. Donnarumma. Dove the right way. But he missed the net. Bonaventura to send us into the semifinals where we await who we're going to be facing. Let's try to put it top right. So he can't really reach it. Bonaventura sends us into the semifinals. Who else but him? That's a 3-1 victory on penalties. We win the derby. We beat our bitter rivals, and we're into the semis. So Piontek, I put him on the loan list, just maybe to see if we can get some offers for him. A loan move can boost your career, just keep him happy. We've got a match rescheduled and a final scouting report on Patrick Cutrone. He's a player that I'd like to bring back. These are pretty much the players that I would like to sign. I didn't want to go crazy signing a bunch of players. I want to keep the squad basically how it was and a big signing in almost so that's probably our last signing of the january transfer market and then we're probably gonna try and go crazy beefing up the side next season uh brescia is currently in a relegation zone so that's why i want to wait for tonali after the transfer market is over i'm gonna try and pick up sandro tonali for the next season i think it's a little bit more realistic trying to get him for next season rather than in january and on deadline day rodriguez has been sold and suzo has been sold to juve that frees up so much money for us it's going to be used to sign some players for next season it's going to be used to sign our youth academy players you guys know how heavy i am on academy players and i want to be bringing them into the squad using them for the rest of the season to transfer piontek to go play out the rest of his season at porto it's a one-year loan but we can call him back next season maybe he can break his way into the side just struggled at the beginning of the season in real life so we're going to keep it like he's struggling in this which he has been he only has one goal so maybe he can go to porto and then we can evaluate him next season like i say all the time i still do love piontek but i think alone will do him some good also alone from ajax so maybe he can go play some champions league football if ajax are in the champions league let's accept this he's probably going to be going either to porto or ajax either way it's very good for his career so it's official piontek is going to be joining fc porto for the rest of the season we're going to call him back at the beginning of next season maybe try to fit him into the squad if it doesn't work out maybe it's the end of piontek's time at milan and to make Make matters worse romagnoli is going to be out for two months training injury the start of the month of february romagnoli is out for two months there goes our captain hellas verona is our next match it's at the san siro and coming off a very good result and they've been in very poor form this is a simulated match ibrahimovic and caldara scoring so no romagnoli no problem 2-0 victory three points we actually have another match coming up against inter did not realize that was the case but roma really breathing down our necks they do have one game more played than us with a victory here we can push further away from them try to stay in a champions league spot it's another derby so two derby matches in this episode fantastic stuff can we beat them a second time in a row so just to make everything worse after romagnoli got injured for two months we have inter coming up on the 9th then on the 12th we have juve the first leg of the semi-finals and uh, i told you in the first episode we are going to be losing these europa league games i don't know why we're even in the europa league we're gonna give the armband to ibrahimovic i was debating between him and bonaventura i like bonaventura you guys know that but ibra just a lot of experience he's absolutely buzzing for this match 
plus five plus eights everywhere and he hasn't decreased by that much going into the month of february inter milan pretty much the same lineup we faced them last time just conti has a red card and musagio and caldara starting in defense just need to do what we did last time granted last time we won in penalties uh just need to put the pressure on inter and force them to make mistakes and stop those two up front from scoring goals while alexis is Trying to bomb down the wing, but Calabria, what a good block. Donnarumma, good clearance. That's 1-0. Lutaro Martinez scoring the goal. What did I say? We have to stop them and just gets the ball. One touch on his foot. It's in the back of the net. Just keep going, Calada. There's Olmo. Olmo's in behind the defense. Just trying to cut back, get it onto his right foot. The strike by Olmo. Ah, completely skies that one. Varela... Donnarumma probably got a touch to that. He did. He's going to cut right back. Come on. How does he still have the ball? And how is that a foul? I'm not clicking anything. Brozovic. Martinez. That one smashes off. Oh. Inter 2-0 up. It's a good ball by Teo to switch the play. Now Krunic. Olmo. Going to send forward Ibra. That's a good touch by Ibra. And he's going to finish very tight angle. Handanovic came out to close that angle. But Ibra just breaks right around him. This captain scoring the goal to cut the lead in half. Didn't actually think he was going to get there. Just pushes it forward and finishes from a very tight angle. Olmo with the assist. Zlatan going to be scoring goal number three in the Serie A. They have Benzema. What? What is this team Inter is building? Senzi. Gonna go for a pass to Lukaku. 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. I have nothing to say. And it only gets worse because we have Juve coming up in our next match. Inter, they couldn't do it against us in the quarterfinals. But they're doing it here. Just, just ran out of... I don't know. Romelu Lukaku scoring. Nine goal for him. Not looking good. And that's gonna be the end of this match. 3-1 loss. It's not the end of the world, but... Players are going to be tired for the match coming up against Juve if we want to feel their best lineup. The good thing about FIFA 20 is that with dynamic potential, these youth academy players, even though they might not look good, they could turn into some stars that maybe are better than their overalls or potentials say. But as for right now, it doesn't look like very many of these players are going to be anything. We're going to sign up Colombo. These names, we've seen them so many times, but let's just get them into the squad. Uh, Costa looks like a decent player, but that overall is absolutely awful. So I don't even know. Let's sign up Casade just because he can be almost... 60 overall and the rest of these players are gonna get rejected you know what as far as youth academy players go i'm really happy with this guy left wing right midfielder so he can play on either side three star skills three star weak foot we're gonna start training him up and maybe he can turn into something good we're gonna get him into the squad right away that's what i like to do with these youth academy players and see what he turns out to be and just to end off this episode we're gonna be playing the first leg of the semi-finals against juve if you guys do recall we did sell suzo to juve we got the most money we could out of him and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us a few of the players are tired after that 3-1 thrashing by inter but we beat them to get into this round and we're looking to go into the finals it all starts with a victory here at the Allianz stadium conti back in the lineup kessie starting instead of krunic just a little bit more fit let's see what we can do here we're at the Allianz stadium what should be the Allianz stadium but they're not licensed it was a hard-fought victory against inter to make it here there's our ex teammate Bonucci looking to win one over Juve uh they signed Obama Yang I don't know if Ronaldo is starting but they do have Obama Yang they do have Dybala they do have a fantastic side first in the Serie A we're looking to stop their great run of form here good shot and a good save by Gigio Matuidi putting a lot of power behind that one Dybala good block moves no Caldara what are you doing you need to have lightning quick reactions sometimes in this game the ball just falls to it uh, right back to Dybala they got a shot off we need to get this away from Juve they have been controlling it the entire match that's going to be a shot good block by Benacer can we start a counter-attack Jack is going to find Olmo he's got three defenders to run at he's trying to use his speed that's going to be played to Bonaventura he's in behind the defense Bonaventura keep going Jack can he finish Bonaventura Chesney 
looking big there. So many options, couldn't think of one. And that's what the end product was. That is whipped in. It's gonna come out to Musakio. You know what? Let's try to go for a shot with the defender. And Mandzukic is in the way and then takes down Obama Yang. Kessie gonna look for Paqueta. That's great stuff by Lukas Paqueta. He's in behind. Paqueta is gonna take the shot, gets the rebound. He's still on this one. Zlatan just outside. Uh, we're getting the opportunities. Oh, that's a lovely cross. That's, oh my goodness. Juve, after we went up, couldn't score, just came back. Dybala with the ball in. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang scoring against his former club. Dybala the touchdown and Aubameyang into the back of the net, 1-0 down. That's Obama Yang. Oh, he's gonna chip Donnarumma. He's gonna chip Donnarumma. Juve just looks like they're gonna run away with this one. Obama Yang scoring, and that's 2-0. Maybe he should have just ended the episode after that 3-1 loss to Inter, but this is more or less what you guys see from Milan. It's as realistic as they come. Juve beating us 2-0. We still do have the second leg of the semifinals. Who knows what could happen then? Juve just a class above us and a class above every team in Serie A. Obama Yang scoring two goals five minutes between each other, and that's full time. We're in sixth place. It's not the best positions we've been in, but at least we're in a Europa League spot. I didn't think Champions League was going to be that easy for us, especially with the quality of teams, but we need to start picking up victories. Even though we did win one against Hellas Verona, but we're going to have to start picking up a lot more victories. The games are going to get a little bit easier, just... A tough run of opponents, Inter, Juve. Uh, Juve, the second leg is on the 4th of March, so coming up soon. So we do have games like Genoa, Lecce, that we need to pick up those victories. And then in April, we have some tough opponents. So we need to start covering ground soon and winning as many games. We're not in that bad of form. It's just tough losses to take if you guys have enjoyed this episode you can leave me a like down below hopefully it was a little longer i want to bring long episodes and i will see you next time